Good evening everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. It's time for the abnormal video. Yes, we're going to talk about the abnormal skins and do the buy orders. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about all of these skins today. But first up, we're going to talk about all of the abnormals. That being the high quality metal tier 3, the burrito bag. We also have the likes of the black gold crossbow. We also have the adobe decorative door. So those are the abnormals that we're going to be talking about. But of course, we're also going to talk about the regular skins. That being the part AK-47, the tug boat door the kevlar m39 the ladybug cosplay boots and the lr nana right so let's jump in and start talking about all of these skins high quality metal tier 3 so i talked about keeping an eye on the workshop and unfortunately uh diaz did not continue the uh high quality metal set in fact he actually just only submitted a charitable rust skin this week he, uh, he didn't submit a regular skin, so I don't fully know what's going on here. It's unfortunate, but yeah, if you're wondering what happened, he submitted a charitable rust skin just in time uh, for uh, that. So yeah, we don't have like confirmation that it's going to continue. Now, by default, I still expect to see high quality metal tier two or hoodie and pants being made at some point. Wouldn't be surprised by that. Why would a skin creator turn down the opportunity for such an easy uh, potential acceptance? Uh, there's a lot of potential profit to be made there. You get the idea. So I am a little bit hesitant because we don't have that like confirmation dangling in front of us. And remember, it dangles in front of everybody else. And you have to remember other people are also buying these skins and whatnot and also investing into them. A lot of people are probably going to be a little bit scared now. A lot of people are probably going to throw these on the Steam market because they don't think it's going to grow. They don't think it's going to be a good investment from here and now. And me being a little bit worried, especially of Ruskin prices at the moment, especially as we enter September time, uh, the dreaded fall season, um, what I am probably thinking is, is I'll probably want to keep it a bit safer, especially with the uh, these prices at the moment. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to do 90 cents to $1.20 on the high quality metal chest plate. Yeah, I'm going to kind of sit at around a dollar because I can still potential, I can still see the potential for what could happen. We have to respect the fact that if we do potentially see high quality metal hoodie pants or tier two appearing in the workshop, people will be jumping in and making, um, uh, uh, what's the word again? It is called anticipation purchases. Yes, they anticipate it's likely going to potentially be accepted. And, it's, and if it is accepted, we of course we will by default still see the spike in demand and the spike in price. This is something we should always, you know, be waiting for with new core piece, uh, new core pieces, and you know, new sets of clothing and armor. So yeah, it's a little bit awkward, but we don't really have much to work with. And I can expect the potential of people um, getting worried, thinking it's doomed, and then just unloading all of their stock to the buy orders and running away. A lot of people do do that, and. That's just the way things are. So playing it safe, 90 cents to $1.20. Okay, cool. Next up, we have the burrito bag. Now, I did make a big joke about how this is really goofy. This is the only food-related sleeping bag that we've ever seen being accepted. Uh, this past uh, week, we did see the likes of a French fry sleeping bag being made. I knew it. I knew other skin creators were going to make something like this. But the real question is, is do people actually want this? Do people like this? Do people think this is really funny? Do, is this going to work out very well? Now, what we should also respect is the fact that this did not sell that much. In fact, all the skins did not sell that much this week, which potentially could work out very nicely for all skins in the future. Let me just break it down to you. If a skin has a very low uh, uh, you know, amount of purchase... Basically, that would also indicate that a lot less of these were bought in excess. A lot less people bought an extra chunk of them. I'm saying not that many people bought like 50 or 100 of them. Which would mean if uh, there is a sudden interest in the likes of these skins, we can potentially see them grow and, you know, potentially go up in price very, very nicely. That definitely applies to the likes of the high quality metal set, for example. Because, you know, with such low sales, it could easily grow and go up in price very nicely and very easily, potentially. So this also potentially works out for the likes of the burrito bag. <sighs> I made this point earlier. If this came out like two months ago, I wouldn't be surprised if this actually had like an extra 10,000 sales by now at this current point. But everyone's kind of like penny pinching and is a fair bit worried uh, about, you know, the prices of these skins from here and now up until, you know, Christmas time. And around then people don't care. People just buy out everything. <laughs> I reckon, right, I want to play it safe. 
I can see this working out very nicely in the future. I can see it going up, going up in price, like rebounding very nicely. So I think I'm personally going to want to do like $1.20 to $1.80. I feel like I could, I could take the brunt of that, pick up a fairly decent amount of them at below its current price. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if this goes below its Rustle price. That's the main thing I'm going to talk about. But I could easily see it go up in price around Christmas time when loads of people return to play the game, see this goofy skin and think, wow, that's really funny. I want to buy that. And then, yeah. Will we see more food-related sleeping bag skins potentially in the future? It could happen. I have seen submissions. But for now, the burrito bag, I could still see it potentially working out quite all right. So yeah, I'm going to probably do $1.20 to $1.80. And I've just had to keep an eye on everything. You have to keep an eye on all of your buy orders at the moment. I just had to remove a few of them in front of my stream right now because the prices were just too low. Right. Let's now start talking about the likes of the Black Gold Crossbow. So this is an interesting one. When I first looked at this, I was like, for $3, you could potentially go buy a whole bunch of other crossbow skins that already exist. Guess what? Hardly any people bought this crossbow. But now we're in the, we're in the position of... So what exactly do we do now? Because again, we have hardly any purchases. And in a good few months time, post Christmas to be precise, we're going to see a lot of people playing this game all over again. I mean, even right now, we've got like 85, 84,000 people playing. But when we get post Christmas, I honestly think we're going to crack 100,000 average people playing in January of 2024. That is my current expectation. So with a nice um, increase in player amount, I do get the feeling a lot of people are going to see this crossbow and potentially buy out the stock and see it go up in price very nicely. So low amount of sales equals potentially a very nice climb in price. Do you reckon a lot of people are going to notice this and think, yeah, I'll buy that. And as the quantity on Steam market slowly disappears, suddenly it sells at a much better price. I think it it's definitely in the standing for that. Now, as a whole, Black Gold Collection, people seem to like it somewhat. Most of them, most of the skins are in the positive. L plenty of weapon skins. Some of them doing very nicely. Some of them not so much. It is what it is. But with this, I think it will be going below its rustle price at some point. I wouldn't be surprised, but I could easily see this also rebounding. With the amount that I've sold, and with the looks of it, and being part of a well-established collection that I do know people do like, I do get the feeling this will be climbing up very nicely, but towards the end of this year. So there is a bit of a wait. It's a long-term investment. I am looking at this thinking, you know what? I could potentially see it go as low as maybe around $2.50-ish. So I might want to do maybe like a $2 buy order. So I'm thinking maybe why don't I do like a $1.50 two dollars maybe two dollars twenty by order i can imagine this goes down in price a little bit like i said when loads of people return to play the game loads of people got money to spend i could see that climbing up in price because the stock gets bought out so yeah one dollar fifty to maybe up to about two dollars twenty that's gonna be my answer for this black gold crossbow and when you compare it to all the other crossbows that come out this year it's not the lowest selling crossbow but it's surprising surprisingly one of the lowest selling so as of now yeah, chemical burn crossbow, we've seen the state of that and the whole chemical burn collection. That's just not in demand. But the fact that this is going to potentially be the second lowest selling skin, the second lowest crossbow all of this year, that is quite a shock. Now, let's not rule out the possibility that we might see some more potentially throughout the rest of this year. Fair enough. But this is supposed to be from a special collection. And it hasn't sold that much. But maybe partly due to the fact that it sold for $3 instead of 2 Who knows? So, yeah. As time goes on, I think that will be going up in price quite nicely. And then we have the likes of the Adobe Decorative Door. Now, the main point, the main problem with the likes of this is it's catering specifically to the Adobe building skin. Does everybody have the Adobe building skin? I don't think so. So we understand the problem immediately. Now, you don't necessarily have to pair this up with the Adobe building skin. Fair enough. That's cool. That's fine. But maybe it does kind of look a little bit weird. Awkward, but... It's still a glow-in-the-dark sheet metal door, and, you know, you would assume that is quite helpful, quite nice, and it's part of what appears to be a collection. We had the garage door last week, which unfortunately isn't retaining its value, and on the horizon, we potentially could see this as a double sheet metal door skin on the horizon. 
Now, this is actually competing with another double sheet middle door, which I can show you real quickly. So I'm sure you've all seen my most recent uh, Rust Workshop skin checks. We have two double sheet middle door skins that are submitted this week and get a load of its competitor. Yes, we have a porcelain sheet double door. So potentially it's either this or this on the horizon, maybe. But if we do see the Adobe sheet middle double door, you could potentially see a spike in demand, spike in price with these because it's a, uh, a deployable set. And as we have seen many times in the past, deplorable sets do work out very nicely if more and more deplorable skins are being accepted. However, how many people can easily assume or notice that this is a whole collection here? I don't think many people instantly realise that. So maybe it might not work out as nicely as we might think. So again, we also have to mention how many sheet doors have we had accepted so far this year. As we take a look, you'll notice a bit of a problem with all of these sheet door skins. The answer is, is that pretty much every single one of them is in a negative. Oh, uh, yeah, only the Abyss sheet door is doing good. All of the other ones, well, you tell me. That's not pretty, is it? So, I think we'd rather stick it and play it safe. I think... I want to just go ahead and maybe do 90 cents to $1.20. And even then I might end up just probably doing maybe like a $1 buy order as a sink with just one account because I don't have a lot of faith with sheet middle door skins at the moment. Much like with the AK-47s, there's far too many skins that currently exist. There's too many options. Much like how when we first saw this at $3, I said, well, look, there's other options that you could spend that money on instead. Same can be applied with this. We've had a lot of sheet metal double door, uh, sheet, sorry, sheet metal doors that have sold for $2.49 this year and have crashed and burned. Let me just quickly remind you, the likes of the sunken door, $2.49, now sells for 80 cents. The infernal door now sells for a dollar. Capybara door is also suffering, not as badly because it is part of a collection, but it, it wasn't doing as good as it was in terms of its rust door price. So, yep, yeah, I think this is going to potentially suffer. However, this is also the lowest selling skin of the week, the lowest quantity sold. Do you reckon this potentially could be a skin that's vulnerable to manipulation at some point in the future? Do you reckon that potentially might be attacked? Well, even then, I still think you could just probably pick these up with a buy order. 90 cents to $1.20 is the answer I'm going to go with. I don't think the double sheet middle door is going to cause this to spike in demand, spike in price. I don't think it's that easily noticeable that this is part of a collection. And if anything, people will just instantly assume it's only going to be useful with the likes of the Adobe building skin set, which is probably half the reason why the garage door isn't holding up very nicely at the moment either. Even though, <coughs> sounded a bit weird there, even though that garage door didn't really sell that much. It only did like 12,000 sales. I said it really weird when I said that. So yeah. That was all the abnormals, and I'll be honest with you, that was pretty quick this week, wasn't it? There's not a lot of motivation with this week, unfortunately. But when you look at all the sales and whatnot, it's not that surprising. Anyway, let's now start talking about the likes of the regular skins. So, once again, we do have to take into consideration the amount of sales that we've seen this week. Not that much. But like I've said with the likes of the Brito bag, and of course with the likes of the High Quality Metal Tier 3, a sheer lack of sales could work out very nicely in the future. And as Mr. Metatron mentioned last week, you shouldn't really look at the Pirate AK-47 as a counterpart to the uh, the Black Gold AK. I made that joke because red, uh, red aim sight and mostly black skin. If anything, if you want to get a good outlook for how this potentially might behave, look at the Dragon Rage collection. Look at the Dragon Rage AK-47. So let's just get a good look at the Pirate collection as of now. It started off with clothing and armor, and then the first ever skin to be accepted was, of course, this AK-47. Don't worry, SC men, take your time, go on. You, 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 you gonna do it? You gonna do it? You gonna do it? I think we're having problems. Oh no! Oh dear, oh dear. Um, well, just no pirate collection has sold quite nicely. It's done stupidly high sales, and when you compare this to the rest of those, it doesn't really match up very much. Like this is potentially the lowest selling pirate skin out of the whole collection. You gonna work now? I'll oh, there you go. There we go. I, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, like all of these, every single one's done like over 25,000 sales. This has barely cracked 15,000 sales. So now we go ahead and take a look at the likes of the Dragon Rage collection. It all started off with clothing and armor as well, as you can see right here. And then eventually the first weapon to be accepted was the AK-47. Now this sold for $3.49. Please remember that. But if we just go ahead and look at how it behaved, 
this is what we care more about so right now currently selling for two dollars forty ish but that's a straggler the actual price seems to be about two dollars eighty ish so if we just scroll down look how it behaved so when it first came out went down in price but then times were pretty good around july august time last year and then of course the fall season october rock bottom price here but then uh, we slowly rise up to December, post Christmas, peak price here at the end of January, selling for about four to four and a half dollars. So at this point here, it's barely selling at just under two dollars right here, double the price. So we can see the big difference. So I feel like what we see here is probably the exact same thing that we're going to see for the Pirate AK. However, we're going to be starting it around here just as september starts so i expect the likes of this pirate ak-47 to go down very sharply towards the end of october but from then on it should only climb upwards so that is what i'm assuming is assuming is going to happen and i am led to believe that we very likely will be just sticking with doing a buy order if we're expecting it to go down in price we probably only want to do a buy order but with the amount of sales it doesn't look like that many of them have bought in excess so thinking on this it's a two dollar skin um right so if this went so if the if the dragon rage was three dollars for now went down by all the way down to about like just under two dollars went down about not all the way halfway i reckon we probably want to do 90 cents to one dollar 20 on this pirate ak-47 wait it out survive october um you know endure it through no uh, november maybe so a few towards the very end of december but around january time i think a lot of people are going to look at this as a budget blackout ak and then it'll probably be selling for a much better price when the amount of them in circulation it doesn't look like it's going to struggle to go up in price so 90 cents to one dollar 20 will be my answer then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the likes of the tugboat door now okay perfect 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 door for the tugboat how many of you are actively enjoying your tugboats though at the moment? Are you wanting to use a sheet metal door for your tugboats? Maybe we'll see an armor door version of this at some point. I wouldn't be surprised for that. But anyway, anyway. Unfortunately, we have already talked about the likes of sheet metal doors. So you've already got the main points, I'm sure. Far too many sheet metal door skins. This kind of only really specifically has a specific spot to be paired with the likes of the uh, tugboat. I guess you could use it in your own base as well, but it's all rusty and whatnot. But maybe some people do like the idea of that, a rusted looking door for their base. And Okay, fair enough. That might potentially work out. Um, hmm. But in terms of how have all the other sheet metal doors behaved this year, just take one quick look once again and you'll notice that the vast majority of the sheet metal door skins that have come out this year are in the negative. So instantly I'm worried about that. I don't think it's going to hold up. I don't think there's enough people that are actively wanting to use this. I think this is probably going to be a 60 cent to 80 cent buy order. And I'm not surprised by that. 60 cents to, uh, 60 cents to 80 cents is my answer. I've seen many sheet metal doors like this in the past. It might look pretty interesting right now, but I don't think there's enough demand to keep it up. I don't think it's going to be holding its value for ver that much longer. So a bit of awkwardness, but it is what it is. Now we take a look at the Kevlar M39. So, yeah, this is awkward as well, because when you look at all the M39 skins, you'll notice that we hardly have any of them ever being accepted. In total, we have eight skins, the vast majority of them coming out in 2019, but back then we had hardly any people playing, so all of these only have like a few thousand in circulation. Therefore, they're very comfortably higher in price. We somewhat recently had the likes of the Tempered M39, 40 plus thousand sales. It's now struggling. Now, what we can learn from this is about 40,000 sales is more similar to the amount of sales that we tend to see nowadays for a skin that's in demand. That doesn't look like it's in demand. That is nowhere near retaining its value. Now, you might look at Bombshell M39 and sit there and say, oh, but look, this is retaining its value. Well, that means we'd want to do a buy order by default. I should also point out, and I've said it before, the uh, the first year or so of this being marketable wasn't exactly super great. So this sold for $2, but throughout the majority of its time, it's been below its rust door price. So it comes out last year, sits at around a dollar for a long time, perks up a bit for post-Christmas, dies this year back down to a dollar, then perks up around July, June, July time. Now, I'm not sure what happened here. I think some people are probably trying to do a manipulation or something. 
regardless, regardless, um, I don't imagine the brand new M39 is going to be doing super great. It's probably going to be a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order, to be honest. Out of uh, not too much knowledge with M39 skins, I wouldn't want to risk it. And the best way to combat that is just do a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order. If you personally, if you personally want to uh, be a bit more aggressive, feel free to do so. I don't hate the skin. It's like a perfect representative uh, looking at how skins were made back then. So this uh, this was actually submitted four years ago. It's a perfectly fine skin. I just don't think people are going to be appreciating it because I don't think people appreciate the M39 that much. So, yeah, it's probably going to perk up quite nicely and retain its value during good times. But I think sticking with a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order probably would be safer. It's only got just around 11,000 sales, but even then, I'm still not super confident. Right, then we have the likes of the Ladybug cosplay boots. And... See, with the appearance of this, I was assuming that we potentially might see uh, Mr. Milio Frito considering making a version 2 of this. Now, some silly business happened, and if we could just quickly show you... So uh, let's just go show. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Let's 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 click this. Let's click this. All right. Milio Frito's workshop. Milio didn't submit a skin this week. There seems to have been a bit of a rush to get Blizzard's uh, Twitch skin made, as I don't think he was actually intended to be one of the people getting a Twitch drop. That's going to be happening in about a week or so's time. So I think he actually he, he kind of rushed to focus this. By the way, this is going to be a talking point. Let's just put this over here because we we'll want to talk about that. Um, so yeah, he didn't make a skin this week. But with the appearance of this being accepted this past week, this spiked in, in demand, spiked in price. This did go up in price a fair bit. I have some good reason to believe people do happen to like the likes of the Ladybug cosplay, which makes me think Melio at some point will consider making a version 2 of his tier 2. But it didn't happen this week. Not immediately at the very least. So, hmm... I'm thinking that, by default, I do think these will retain their value. Not, like, insanely. Like, look at all the boot skins that we've had in the past. Just note that this has only got about 8,000 sales. Now, Phantom Boots, which were submitted not too far back, they've, well, they haven't really retained their value. But they, they, they did sell for $2. But yeah, these are 99 cents. These are goofy, silly, but it's not part of a full collection at the moment, is it? Phantom is a full collection. Pixel isn't really holding up that well. Whiteout's in its own special category of absurdness. You could potentially pair up comics with that because these are kind of interchangeable as white options for boots. And hard suit, well, you never got that tier two, I'm afraid. So with this, I think there is a possibility that it will be going below its rustle price at some point. Over the course of these next couple months, wouldn't be surprised. If you wanted to play it safe, maybe just request these at like 70 cents each. But I could imagine that if we do see Ladybug Cosplay Tier 2 Version 2 being made and potentially accepted, that could easily go up in price easily. With the amount of sales that we've had, it could easily rebound. Much like how I mentioned earlier with the likes of High Quality Metal. These sales just don't seem that much. It's all the better for it if we do potentially see the likes of Continuations. So a continuation for this, more specifically the Tier 2, would potentially make this go up in price ever so much so. But um, as of now, I'm probably just going to want to do maybe 50 cents to 70 cents as my barter on these. That's my answer. And then we have the LR Nana. Again, with such a low amount of sales, one might potentially think, okay, maybe this potentially could be a candidate for manipulation at some point in the future. But by default, looking at this skin specifically, I'm thinking 90, <clears throat> 70 cents to 90 cents. I said that immediately when I saw it, now stick by it. Look at all the LR 300 skins. You might notice a certain pattern. Yes, it appears nobody wants them. Down 50%, down 48%, down 49%, down 46%, down 50%, down 38%, down 47%. Huh, weird. They all seem to go down to about a dollar. I wonder why. Well, nobody seems to want them. And as we know, if you can, if, if there's a listing for a weapon skin below a dollar, you can turn it into metal. So people are probably just quickly converting them into metal. You get the idea. Um, yeah, LR300 doesn't apparently appear to be a very desirable weapon, does it? It is unfortunate, but yeah, 
if nobody wants to use the weapon, nobody's going to be using the skins. There's no d demand for the skins then. So therefore the skins suffer. They go down in price. Redemption LR is doing very nicely because it was the first Redemption skin to be accepted. And uh, it's actually the lowest selling Redemption skin overall as well. So all the better for it, basically. So that one's just kind of special in its own way. Yeah, 70 cents, 90 cents for that. Even though we've had plenty of banana skins, uh, it, this is like one of the later ones. So, yeah, I don't think that's holding up very nicely. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. We talked about all of the skins, and I think we're a lot quicker compared to previous weeks. I mean, not, not like super fast, but, yeah, like straight to the point, an easy answer. So, uh, yeah, hello, Ifanos. How you doing, sir? I just talked about all these skins. Hello, Warhead. What about Tugboat Door? We're not confident in the Tugboat Door, I'm afraid. But don't worry, Ifanos. Uh, Mr. Maxim will have been writing down all the prices, so I can show them to you afterwards. I'm doing great, mate. I'm doing really great. So, we can start talking about what we could potentially expect uh, tomorrow and from here and now. Let's talk more about uh, Twitch drops. So Twitch drops are on the horizon. If we just go to Face Punch Twitch, you can now see all the Twitch drops. Now, there was supposed to be a Temple Tap skin. Um, that doesn't seem to be the case now. So here are the streamer skins, and here are the generic drops. In total, we have eight skins right here. And as we mentioned with the Sheet Metal Door, this appears to have only just been made recently, um, but we need to talk about this sheet metal door. Sheet metal double door, to be precise. See, when you look at it, do you notice what's special about it? Maybe you might notice it here. No, it's not the glow in the dark. No, that was a trick. No. Do you notice that we have a see-free mesh right there? Do you notice that? Yes, this is a sheet metal double door that not only glows in the dark, but it also has a see through mesh. This is going to be given away for free. Y yeah. Yeah. So that that's happening. <laughs> now you know. So uh, this skin is going to be given away, like all of the other Twitch drops, on September 7th to the 14th. So yeah, September 7th, 2023, 8 o'clock British, uh, British summertime, and uh, it ends on the 15th of September, midnight British summertime. So yeah. Uh, we have five streamer skins. You have to watch their specific stream. And then these are generic drops. So you could just watch all of these people and then by default, you'll get these skins as well. Generic drops are, if you watch any Rust stream on Twitch, you just have to have a Twitch account linked up with your Steam account and then watch those streams on Twitch. Makes sense? So yeah, keep an eye out for that. And that right there, I think that's probably going to be the, mo the main skin. I think everyone's going to be going crazy for that one. And I don't blame them, because getting that for free? <laughs> what do you mean, shush? What do you mean, shush? It's perfect, and everyone's going to know about it, mate. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets mentioned on the subreddit. Okay, let's talk more about what we could potentially expect for skins tomorrow. So, as I did mention earlier, I did do my Rust Workshop skin checks. This was all of the most recent skins being accepted. But for the Rust Door tomorrow, what could we potentially expect? Well, I made a talk about that. I made a little video talking about that. If we just quickly hop over to here. I made this video talking about post-complete the sets pattern. Essentially, with pretty much every single complete the sets that we've had, the Rust Doors just after it tend to have a bit of a runoff. We tend to see, and we saw it with this past week, as you can see, we had a mixed bag of some fairly recently made uh, Rust skins and some that maybe were submitted like a year or two ago, as you can see right here. Tomorrow, I expect the same thing. I expect to see some skins that were submitted fairly recently, and I also expect some skins that were probably submitted maybe a year or two ago. What could that potentially be? I have no idea. It's open season. We're going to probably see some very wacky things and we should also potentially point that out it's the final rust of the month there is the pattern of the final rust of the month tends to be more wacky more silly picks could we potentially see some very goofy style skins tomorrow who knows but um i'm also expecting another rust door to be at least 10 skins so you know how this was 10 skins i expect 10 skins at bare minimum tomorrow as well because it seems to be we're going through the test period with face punch turn around says you know what we want to do bigger rust doors from now on we're going to have a bit of a test period so i expect at least 10 skins again tomorrow
and yeah that's potentially going to work out quite all right but it seems to potentially be maybe one of the reasons why we're not seeing that many sales at the moment but by default people don't really want to spend too much money as well at the moment so a bit awkward and and ad just went through i'm sorry aquatic i can't stop this is a video so uh please do not forget about all the potential interesting skins that could potentially be appearing soon so yeah please consider watching my most recent rust workshop skin checks and also consider watching this video as well just to get a good idea of this silly pattern because i am not 100 percent sure if we're still going to potentially see some random old skins being picked when we start september rust stores maybe we will maybe we won't i don't fully know but we're gonna have to keep an eye out for it you should also take a look at tgg's top picks as well give this a good look in terms of clothing and armor nothing really screams out to me i'm still feeling that we potentially might see a best tier 2 tomorrow with that big talk talking about the likes of black gold last year black gold tier 2 it kind of looks like we might get a very random old clothing and armor skin tomorrow could it be maybe a best tier 2 or something even further back maybe elite crate tier 2 or maybe pizza tier 2 <laughs> maybe uh maybe a comics tier 2 or tier 3 something like that it could happen i won't rule it out but yeah i still expect the likes of um a nice batch of clothing and deplorables and weapon skins a variety and you should also be aware that the charitable rust 2023 twitch drop contest has now ended we don't know the winners yet but it seems all the submissions are now neatly uh prepared as you can see here and uh just give it a good look keep an eye out for all the potential candidates get a good look at all of these i might make a video specifically dedicated to looking at all of these skins maybe a good 10 20 minute video just showing them all off and then encouraging people to go take a look at all, all but yeah those are all the skins there might be a few more so i might have to leave it for an extra day or two just to be safe but yeah they are all trying to see if they can have their skin accepted as a twitch drop um during the special event for charitable rust 2023 that's going to happen in october i should also point out um in october uh, in october the same week so i believe it will be the october 12th rust store we're going to have uh some charitable rust skins in the rust store as well so please be prepared for that okay so that's all on the horizon in about six weeks time <laughs> so yeah that was uh quite a fair bit to talk about but uh other than that i think we've basically talked about all that we needed to so what we're going to do now is skip ahead and we're going to go do those buy orders so we still need to wait a good couple of hours but for you we're going to skip ahead so let's go do that now all right then gentlemen so it looks like we're about to have the uh abnormal buy orders best of luck to all of you best of luck let's see how it turns out let's see if we're going to get a ridiculous amount of buy orders instantly within a microsecond so one o'clock here we go i'm going to go for the black gold crossbow first and at your own pace i don't want to refresh too much i don't want to accidentally uh have the requests error <laughs> i haven't had that in a long time now so i think that whole problem that we used to have like half a year ago is now finished uh valve probably stepped in and fixed it ah the black gold crossbow still has not yet appeared are we having these stupid things again where it's not going to appear for like a minute for me specifically oh come on don't don't do this to me don't do this to me and i bet you it's going to randomly have like two thousand buy orders did no one buy these skins? <laughs> oh, there you go. Right, so we'll just go do this. Hmm. Really? All right, you know what? Weird things going on here with this crossbow. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> no one bought it. <laughs> well, that, we will know that. All right, I tell you what. I guess we're just going to go and skip ahead and we'll discuss this weird thing that's going on. So we'll see you in a minute.
Right, gentlemen, it's been almost 20 minutes, and as you can see, an issue moment starting to track some of these prices. So let's go ahead and take a look at the buy order support for all the skins that we just saw. Here is the Black Gold Crossbow. Yes, this has uh, over 2,000 buy orders, almost 3,000 to be precise, but I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I do believe uh, this, and this is a bot. Now, I'm not sure how long it's going to be here for, but yeah, like a big fat chunk of this was a botted by order 100%. Now to request 2000 of these when only like 10,000 of them were bought, not the wisest thing to do. Um whoever's doing this botting business uh, certainly doesn't really know what's up. They just put down a fairly safe price and then just hope for the best. Who knows. But uh, yeah, borders are going all the way up to about $2 as expected. That's what I personally went for on the one right here. Now Will this retain its value? I, as I said earlier, I don't expect so. I see it potentially going down to maybe around $2.50. But with the sheer lack of sales, which is definitely surprising to me, I do see this potentially rebounding and going up in price in the future. The fact that this has only got only around 10,000 sales at the moment is like stupid to me <laughs> black gold collection and it only got 10,000 sales what the hell in the long term will it work out quite all right for it i think it will the less sales that there are the better for it so if you're going to sit there and say hedge if i genuinely wanted to buy some of these should i go buy some i'll sit here and say no just put down like a two dollar thirty or two dollar fifty buy order i guarantee you you'll probably end up buying some like I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. So consider doing that instead. You can get these at a cheaper price and save your money. And you're not buying more of these to add to the overall circulation. So as of now, Black Hole Crossbow is in an interesting position. We'll see how it turns out around January time. Maybe it might rebound and easily go up to maybe like $5, maybe more. Or maybe it just struggles because maybe genuinely there wasn't enough people interested in it. We shall see. We're going to move on to the likes of talking about the burrito bag. As you can see here, only 876 buy orders. And if we look at the buy orders, for a, what, what was, would it sell for again? $2.49. The bulk of the buy orders seems to be around just over a dollar. Again, I think this was 200 buy orders from a botted buy order. So yeah, looking at this, the bulk of the buy orders looking very strong up to about $1.40. And then we got a random one at $1.90. So, yeah, this is stopping at about $1.50. I guess most people here are wanting to play it safe. From what I can see, don't blame them. It's a bit of an awkward position. I do think as time goes on, this sleeping bag would be doing quite all right. If we keep seeing more food-related sleeping bags, maybe it might lose its attention. Maybe it might lose its uh, thunder. Or maybe people would just like to have various different sleeping bags that are different food. <laughs> <laughs> what what sleeping bag could you think of that could be a food themed sleeping bag what do you reckon what do you think of what's in your head um what did i say i did say kebab i think kebab could be done yeah i think people like that maybe a calzone so yeah we'll leave it at that pretty okay as of now but if you wanted to buy this i'll just sit here and say you could just put down a two dollar buy order and i would be surprised if you could pick that up at two dollars so consider getting it for about 50 cents cheaper that's up to you. Right, then we've got the high-quality metal face mask. And as you can see, buy orders do end at around $1.20. Lots of buy orders here. Uh, big chunk here, about $0.80. Cents, decent amount here, around a dollar, And it builds all the way up to about $1.30. Very nice, very interesting. Will this be a perfectly fine thing to buy? No. <laughs> this doesn't look like it's going to retain that value. It looks like it will be going down, but... but. If we do see Diaz, who's the skin creator, if he does turn around and does make more core pieces, that being tier 2 or hoodie and pants, so you know how the routine is, we'll probably see someone jump in, buy out some stock, anticipation purchases. If we do see it then being accepted in a future roster, all the better for it. It will have a spike in demand. It will have a spike in price. But it's all about maybes, ifs, possibly. We don't know. Diaz needs to submit some skins. <laughs> So he never responded and he didn't submit an actual skin this week. We shall see how it turns out in the future. For now, let's just see what happens. So, yeah. And then we have Adobe Decorative Door. The uh, least invested into skin this week, it seems. And the least amount of requests to buy. So, buy orders. Main chunk here, about 80 cents. And then you've got a decent chunk here, just over a dollar. And that's it. And that's a $2.49 sheet metal door. So if we do see 
the double door being accepted tomorrow possibly or maybe next week or whenever do you reckon it might help that out or do you reckon that's just doomed anyway sheet metal doors are quite abundant this year and well as you know pretty much every single one of them isn't really doing super great at the moment so yeah what do you reckon <laughs> um if you truly wanted this you could just probably put down like a dollar 30 or a dollar 50 by order wouldn't be a surprise in the slightest if you picked this up and you'd be able to save like a dollar each picking this up so yeah if you really need some more adobe skins with your adobe building skin you could just put down a dollar 50 and i wouldn't be surprised if you buy it so yeah it was a tame week and the builders do seem to be fairly tame overall not like ridiculous amount of builders in every single skin but you know it is what it is and do not forget tomorrow we do have the pirate ak-47 tugboat door kevlar m39 the ladybug cosplay boots and the lr nana they are going to become marketable tomorrow when the new rust door appears um with it being the final rust door of the uh, uh of the month potentially it could be goofy skins we shall see um hey honestly this was goofy this was goofy this could have picked next week and would have just called that so maybe that theme is just like a more of a coincidence eh, whatever but like i said do take a look at the likes of the uh, recent rust uh, rust workshop skin checks get a good look at all of these potentially some of them could be picked out as an early pick also do take a look at the likes of tgg's top picks by default these are the skins that are the best potential candidates for potentially being picked but do not rule out the possibility that tomorrow's rust door is going to be exactly like this rust door some random skins from the past and some newer skins that were somewhat newer and uh yeah you get the idea so do you reckon we'll see more than 10 skins do you reckon we'll see a lot more skins that were from way far back do you reckon we might see a skin that was submitted like more than four years ago what do you reckon who knows and just to give you a little insight yep no mercy revolver he's still alive and he's still sitting at about 180 dollars with bioders going all the way up to 140 dollars seems to be holding on quite all right just an extra little thing to show off to you so yeah that's essentially it that's everything so thank you very much for watching me today i greatly appreciate it if you're wondering about what i expect for tomorrow and whatnot um we did talk about that earlier in the video so you might need to go back always check for chapters yes i always put chapters in my videos so with that thank you very much for watching see you all later tomorrow i expect a normal rust or rotation time um it's going to probably happen between seven o'clock to ten o'clock in the evening in the uk i will be streaming at about from eight o'clock in the evening from then on so yeah if you want to link to my uh, twitch it's in the description and yeah i usually start around eight o'clock in the evening uk time on a thursday because fairly recently we've seen the rust doors be a little bit later and with that thank you very much for watching see you and goodbye